Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Wine today is Bruna Rossese uh, from, um, is it Lig Lig Riviera Liguri de Ponente? Uh, don't much, get much Ligurian wine uh, past my lips, so um, let's change that now. Well, I don't know much about the Rossese grape, but what it reminds me of, um, I've been tasting this this summer quite a few Sansos, um, which have had this uh, gentle, um, not too extracted um, character about them. I mean, this is quite pale in colour. Um, and um, there's a sandiness, uh, and there's this red fruit sappiness, and uh, I, I get that character. But there's also something slightly um, animal and almost like a burnt bait character I, I, I get in there too. Um, intriguing. It's one of those I keep coming back to smell. Anyway, I'd better taste it, hadn't I? Yeah, nice tasty berries, citrus. Uh, there's a freshness about it. Um, it feels like it's been made... It's almost like rosé taken that little bit too... A uh, little bit further, so it's, uh, it's blushed even more than a standard blush. Um, and uh, sappy and refreshing, almost a wine that you want to, to chill down. If I have a problem with it, um, it's the, uh, I've tried wines like in, in, made in a similar fashion uh, from, uh, let's have a think, so, plus like the Rhone, um, some, some from Spain, some from Chile uh, over the last uh, couple of months. And if you, uh, and yeah, I think even South Africa, maybe if you just sit me down and ask me whether I can tell which country they came from. I might not be able to. I'm not supposed to confess things like that, am I? But, um, yeah, it's uh, really tasty. But how much is the terroir talking? Um, for me, it's talking pretty nicely here. Um, so, um, and it may just be that though, all those places have similar terroir. But, um, but as I say, that's my it's only point of concern. It's a rather delicious, gluggable uh, beast. And uh, so I'm going to go away and glug some. See you soon.